What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to go over an extension that you can use to create photorealistic renderings in SketchUp. And as most of you know, my supporters on Patreon get to vote on which extension I cover every week. This week they voted for me to cover Twilight Render. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Twilight Render. Plugin developer, Twilight Render. Plugin cost, Hobby version is free. The pro version is $99. Where can you get it? You can get it by visiting twilightrender.com or by searching for Twilight Render in the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. Photorealistic rendering is basically taking light and applying it to your model to create a more realistic image. As most of you know, there are a lot of different photorealistic rendering extensions for SketchUp that can range both in power and cost. These can range anywhere from free all the way up to upwards of two to three thousand dollars. In addition, some run as separate standalone programs and some work as a plugin within SketchUp. A while ago, I wanted to start teaching people how to work with rendering software, and I ended up using Twilight Render because it has a free version that also doesn't cut back on its features. It's very easy to use. Twilight Render comes with a material editor for making edits to your material a tool for adding lights to your model, as well as a full-featured environment editor. It also comes with a series of presets for your renders, allowing you to quickly run test renders, as well as high-quality final renderings, and everything in between. It also can render animations. Overall, the reason my first series on rendering in SketchUp was done in Twilight Render is because it's easy to use, it's free, and it doesn't cut back on the features. You can create high resolution renderings with this software without having to go with the pro version. The pro version does come with some features that you may want to check out, like the deep material editor, as well as the ability to save HDR images, allowing you to batch render multiple different scenes, rendering with proxy components, rendering of section planes, and some other things as well. So you may want to check out the pro version as well. You can also create animated GIFs with the pro version. Overall, Twilight is usually the rendering software I suggest for beginners to get into rendering because it's full featured and easy to use. So go ahead and download it and give it a try. I'll also link to my series on getting started rendering in Twilight down below. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below let me know what you thought. Is this a software that you'd be interested in using? Are you using a different software for rendering? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That link is in the notes below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.